Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Where we're playing the... Hello, who's there? It's me, I'm not gonna kill you Jacob game It's us. Jacob! How bad? I'll live. <laughs> I think. This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy is clear for now. Open the door. Is Jacob there? It's okay, Bryn. Well, that duet didn't go too terribly. Jacob. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm all right. The others didn't make it. What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be protecting these people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. Are they gone? For now, but they'll be back. <sighs> uh... Sure you're okay? Yeah, I'll walk it off. Uh, save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. This one's on the house. Hey, yo. Good to see you, too. Staying out of trouble, I see. Shepard, this is Dr. Bryn Cole. She's in charge here. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex-Cerberus. Scientists, mostly. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. So, why did you defect from Cerberus? Why does the elusive man want to kill you? Our stories are different, but the themes are the same. We were each using information from the Collector Base to work on the different components of a larger tech. After someone completed their component, they disappeared. No bodies, just gone. As we progressed, we started feeling like we were signing each other's death warrants. Yeah, I think that was smart. Yeah, the elusive man doesn't mess around. If he can't control it, he'll destroy it. The brain trust here has to be a significant loss for him. You had to know they were going to find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. But the elusive man is one tenacious bastard. That doesn't sound good. Time to evacuate. Agreed. Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. Cerberus is jamming them somehow. With those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. I'm good. I mean, I will. <laughs> I know what Commander, that means. I should see to my people. Join me upstairs when you can. Jacob Taylor, way out here. That's a surprise. Dr. Brown, I'm so sorry. Oh, Jamie, I didn't want to come here to these people. It was his idea. What am I going to do without him? Finish the work you started. Our work? Are you crazy? We're all going to die here. Your partner was brave. He wouldn't want you to crumble like this. She's right. We're getting out of here alive. I promise. Thank you. <sighs> I guess we need to hurry, but I'd like to find out more about these people. Hello? Commander Shepard, I've heard about you. Another Cerberus defector, is Something like that. Dr. Gavin Archer. I imagine we both crossed the elusive man in our own way. How did you end up here? The research I did for Cerberus hurt a lot of people. I've done things no human should. There I was. With blood on my hands, blood I could never wash away. The elusive man didn't care. He said our goal was greater than any sacrifice it took to attain it. I take it the elusive man didn't just let you resign? <laughs> the man who loves to lecture about morality's shades of grey, he's very black and white when it comes to obedience. Either you do the job, or you die trying to quit. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? It was called Project Overlord. An experiment attempting to find non-violent methods for controlling the Geth. That actually doesn't sound like a bad idea. Yes. Well, like most things the elusive man touches, my work became corrupted by degrees. 
Suffice it to say, things didn't end well. How did it go wrong? Serendipity, I'm afraid. The Geth were unresponsive to my attempts to communicate with them, until my younger brother David made a breakthrough. He was an autistic savant, a mathematical genius. In no time, he mastered the Geth language and was communicating with them. You mean he could speak directly with the Geth? It was rudimentary at first, so I decided to take the next step. Tap David straight into their network. Oh my God. It was sensory overload. No mind, even a savant's, could process the barrage information. It drove him insane. Did David volunteer for this? The elusive man kept pushing for results. I was eager to please him. It seemed harmless at first. You mean you forced your brother to do it? Believe me, it's a nightmare I relive every night. He went berserk. His mind became a computer virus that infected all our systems. He killed dozens of lab personnel. They finally had to detonate nuclear weapons over the base to stop the havoc. God. That's all, Doctor. I appreciate your help getting us out of here, Commander. There's actually a DLC for Mass Effect 2 called Overlord. About this, where you can obtain different results than what you, what you get when you don't participate in that. I think you can actually save his brother somehow, but I'm not sure how I never played that DLC, so... Get the text from Stockholm cell to pack their own crates. I need you up here. Don't be a jerk. There's only two of those guys. All right. And make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I have my best people on it. How many scientists are here? 43, plus research assistants. You ran with over 40 people? When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? You gotta be kidding. So those refugees brought everyone with them? Yes. We have about 17 kids here. Partners, spouses, parents. I promised these people refuge. A new life free from Cerberus. Oh, shit. I just never imagined the elusive man would... That's what evil counts on. But it's hard for good people to imagine. Okay. Everyone left gets out of here alive. This escape will have to be carefully executed. I'd hoped. We tried so hard to make sure it wouldn't come to this. What's the news? Can't tell. Only know I can't fix it from here. Going to the roof. No, you don't. Cerberus landed a shuttle there a couple minutes ago. You in? Jacob, you're injured. I'll fix the guns. No way. These are my people. I'm going. Just because you survived one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. Ah, uh, fine. But I'm gonna talk you through it from here. Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Radio me when you found the controls and I'll give you the override code. Will do. That guy. Just let us do it. We'll, we'll do it. No problem. Personal log Brinko. With Jacob's help, we managed to ascertain that several of our colleagues were in fact killed. Contracts terminated is what service called it. Makita, Scott, Daniel, Shunhai, Anika and so many others I didn't even know about. All of them gone, disappeared without a trace. Just like that. Should have left sooner. I don't know why we waited so long. I can't remember what seemed so important that we had to stay just one more day. What was I thinking? I don't know. Yeah, in a second. Personal log Damini Zegupta. Attempts are ongoing on figuring out what the end product of our research was meant for. While it's obvious that the delivery system was to be implant-reliant, with evident neurological applications, many questions remain as of yet unanswered. Loss of Dr. Horace Armstrong in particular is hindering our efforts to speedily reconstruct the nature of the elusive man's gold. 
We have several parts of the whole which leads us to chilling conclusions. But we're nowhere near figuring out what is what said whole might be. And that is what scares me the most. Let me. I'll purge it and you leave. Some kind of poison. Tailored to Turians. I'm okay. I told you that we should have gone to the sanctuary. Look, let's just focus on getting out of here. I thought we covered our pieces. Chuck, I'm in here. What does he want with us? Why does he care? Who knows? He's crazy. Jacob? Hey. You okay? Have you been? Give us a minute. This is crazy. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. I know the feeling. So how'd you become a gun for hire? Long story. It was an opportunity I couldn't resist for people I came to care about. You seem good. You look good. These are great people. Defending their ideals? I like it. I think I found what I'm meant to do. You still think about what happened to your dad? Haunts me more like... Anything on Cerberus I should know about? The elusive man became obsessed with indoctrination. I know that. You ever wonder how it all went wrong? I mean, was I blind? I remember him being an idealist. How come I couldn't see the evil? Don't beat yourself up. And if you ever get that crystal ball working, give me a heads up, because I'd love to know how this all plays out. <laughs> right. What's the story, Jacob? Why are you working at a place like this? After we got back, well, things look different when you come back from a suicide mission alive. So I quit Cerberus, I quit everything. And sat by the Mediterranean for a while. That's when I lost track of you. And what did all the fresh air and meditation teach you? That what I choose to fight for better mean something to me. That it comes from the heart. We could sure use you. It's real tempting, Shepard, but I like where I'm at. I'm important to these people. I want a life. I want a family. Sure. I get that. No, Shepard. The Normandy's your real love. Doesn't mean I don't want to say to hell with it sometimes. But you won't. You can't. How long have you known Bren? We met through a mutual friend in the Mumbai cell. Guess I've known her for a year. We had a lot in common. Then she came to me about her missing colleagues. Asked for my protection. My help finding a place to run to. How could I say no? Who is she to you? We're together. And you run this enclave with her. You settling down, Jacob? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> it's just, um, if these are our final days, I want to spend them protecting these people. All right. Building a life, whatever's left of it. I should focus on getting these people out of here. You bet. Let's get to it. Outpost report, Jacob Taylor. Outpost now 48% operational. We reorganized some of the storage rooms around the central core, turning them into living units in order to save power. The outer areas are all condemned now, which should provide us with a buffer should Cerberus agents find us. Guns are functional, but I don't like how exposed they are. I'm going to look into findings of some shielding on the black market. Yeah, I guess they never had the time to find those shieldings. shown up. These people had no plan beyond hiding. They didn't stand a chance. I guess so. So let's make sure we get them out of here. Because that's what we are really good at. Doing shit. Got the jump. What the hell? Why is that shield pylon still there? Ah, come on. Thank you. Never took that shot. Heavy melee attack and then give him sh some, some, some shots. <laughs> That's hilarious. God 
that one. Ah, come on. Whoa. Who is still shooting at me? Assaults. Jacob, this should be back online now. Here too. Ah, uh, damn it. What the frack is wrong with overload today? Never get those freaking pylons overload. I we're talking about turret, maybe it's that one up there. Yeah, it's that one up there, alright. Guys, by the way, it's always just people running right past me. Garrus, not sure what you're still doing down there. At least stop using the turret. We have to get up there and activate those AA guns manually. All right. Seems like we can get up here. I think we want to take a medical application though. for my taste, to be honest. Stay up there, I'm coming back up. 
Alright, but since the time is almost up, I'm gonna end up this episode right here. The next one, uh, I probably will reconstore the gun control here, but there's sparks flying away, so it probably needs to be repaired by someone, and we have to defend that someone, and well, we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.